why you don't need a record label in 2023. Hi, I'm Dominique Charpentier, recording artist, film and video game composer, and I'm here to help you with tips for aspiring composers. Today's tip is to explain you why you don't need a record label in 2023 to release your music. So it's very simple to explain. Uh, nowadays, uh, you can make money just with one single. So I have an example. I released a single uh, in 2019 called La Tendresse. It was a minimalist piano solo track. And this piece uh, was added to big editorial playlist on Apple Music and Spotify. And uh, I made a lot of money just with this one single, which allowed me uh, to live for a year uh, without doing nothing. I mean, if I wanted, I could have done that. Uh, so that's just uh, one example. And I released this single on my own with no label or anything. Um, and it's very easy today to release music on your own. So what do you need to release just one single? Uh, first, of course, you need a piece of music. And uh, the great thing is that nowadays you can uh, create this piece of music on your own in your home studio. And it's not expensive. You just need a computer, a decent computer, microphone, uh, maybe a virtual sounds, uh, a DAW, uh, which, which are not expensive. And if you don't know how to use uh, all these things, you just need to go to uh, YouTube and find uh, tutorials about this, and you will uh, understand how it works. So that's very easy to have the piece of music. Once, of course, uh, you worked to create an interesting piece and a, a nice piece of music, but that's, that just takes work and time, that's it. Then uh, you will need an artwork, and again, it's not difficult to do it yourself. You have a lot of uh, resources online, for example, you can use uh, Canva, uh, you can find some free uh, pictures online, or you can buy them, but they are not very expensive. You can also ask to a young designer online to do an artwork for you, and it won't be very expensive. So that's something you can do yourself as well. For example, you can take a picture with your, with your phone and then uh, create something interesting uh, with a lot of uh, online resources. Uh, so again, that's not difficult, that's not expensive, and you don't need a lot of time to do it and to learn how to do it. So now you have the piece, the recording, with a pro quality. You have the artwork, nice one. Then you need a distributor to send your music to uh, streaming services like Spotify and Apple Music. And again, it's not expensive, some uh, are uh, free uh, also. But for example, I use uh, DistroKid and it's something like $20 a year uh, to release all the music you want and they don't take any share on your royalties. So again, that's very easy, that's not expensive and you have a lot of distributors I use DistroKid, but you can use a lot of other ones. Uh, you can just Google it and you will find a lot of them. And they are all great. Then, uh, what do you need uh, to make money with uh, your single? Because that's what I want to talk about in this video. And in all my videos, uh, uh, the goal is to help you to live off your music. So at some point, you have to make money with it. So now we have a single, we have the artwork, we have the distributor, it's not very expensive. What do we need to then make money with the music? So we need to have streams and a lot of streams. Uh, so it's not easy if you're not famous, of course, but still you can do it. Even if you don't have a lot of, of fans listening to your music, what you need to do is to secure places in playlists. So you have three types of playlists. You have uh, your own playlist that uh, I encourage you to create. Then you have indie playlists, so people like you know, uh, your neighbor, your friends, they have playlists uh, for them, and sometimes they have big playlists. Uh, 
and then you have editorial playlists. Uh, so especially uh, Apple Music and Spotify, they really have big, big editorial playlists. Uh, so for the, your own playlist, you just need to create your playlist, make nice playlists and try to share them uh, a lot and try to make them interesting so that people will uh, subscribe to the playlist and then eventually you will have a lot of followers and then you will have some strings uh, for your playlist. Then the indie playlist uh, also, it's, it's not difficult, you just need to uh, look for example on Spotify uh, you look for a big playlist uh, in your genre. So for example, I make uh, mostly piano solo music. Uh, so I will uh, look for a big piano solo playlist and then uh, you look at the, the people, uh, the, the person doing this playlist and you try to contact them uh, using the, the way they prefer. So it can be on Facebook, Instagram, maybe an email address. And you just have to send a nice email asking if if they can add you to the playlist, if they like uh, your track. And that's it. And if they like it, they will add it. If not, that's fine. And you try a few playlists like this and eventually you will, you will be added to some playlist and you will have some strings for your uh, single. And then you have the big playlist, editorial playlist. So for this, uh, at least on Spotify, you can d directly uh, reach uh, the editors. So you just have to pitch the, the track, the upcoming track to the, the Spotify editors in your Spotify for Artists app. I made a video about this, uh, so I will leave the link uh, in the video description below if you want to know how to make the pitch. I have a few uh, tips for this. And, uh, and that's it. Uh, if the, the track you made uh, is good, if it fits uh, what they need for the playlist, they will add it and uh, you, will have, you will have some strings and then eventually you will be able to make money uh, and live off your music. And the last thing you need uh, is a promotion, uh, so a little bit of marketing, and you can do it yourself again uh, with the social medias. So you just need to have an Instagram account, Facebook account, TikTok, whatever you want and it's free so uh, then you just have to create content to uh, appeal the audience and uh, find uh, also new fans so you make photos, videos, posts uh, you release a post uh, regularly and eventually you gain some new fans a new audience and they will then go to listen to your music which will lead to streams and then money to live off your music so that's why you don't need a record label, uh, I think, in 2023 because all the, the basic things you need to release a single and they can make money of it, you can do it yourself. Uh, there are a few cases where you do need a label. Uh, I will make another video about this. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, feel free to ask me anything uh, in the comment section below. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you next time.